Hello and welcome to Totally Tech Tom. In this video, I'm going to do a short tutorial on how to install Terraform. I'm not going to go into too much detail about Terraform. If you want more information, please watch one of my other videos. Okay, so first things first, we need to go and get the binary from the website. So if we go to terraform.io, and we want to use the open source self-managed version so just click download and i'm going to be using windows subsystem for linux so if you click on linux and then we're going to pick the archetype for your cpu which in my case is amd64 i'm just going to click download And let's open up the directory, go to downloads, extract all, and extract. Okay, so that's just... Next, I'm going to open my subsystem for Linux. I'm going to navigate to that directory, which is in mnt, slash c, users, tom, downloads, terraform. Okay, uh, just do a quick SLS, uh, LS, um, so that's there. Let's do move Terraform to user local bin. And let's just go into user local bin. And I always just change the ownership of stuff in user local bin to root uh, owner root and group root. And then I'm going to change the file permissions to read, write, execute for the owner and for everybody else, it's read, execute. So just do a quick ls. Uh, I j I've just done user local bin because that's where I generally tend to put all my binaries that I download off the internet. Um, but you can put it anywhere you want, just as long as it's in your path. So I'm just going to go back to my home directory now and do Terraform dash dash version. And there you go. Terraform version 1.3.6 has been installed. Okay, so that's a way of installing Terraform. Uh, but there's a better way. And that way is using something called TFENV. And let's do a search for TFENV. Uh, TFENV is a little wrapper that allows you to install multiple versions of Terraform on your system. Now this is useful because you might have multiple versions of Terraform in use across multiple projects. So it's good to be able to switch versions quite easily. And TFM gives you that option. Um, so it does support Mac OS and Linux. And um, maybe supports Windows. I don't know. Um, on Mac OS, it's pretty simple. You just do brew install TFENV. On Linux, we can type these few commands here. So I'm just going to do that now. Uh, we're going to do the first one, which is to clone the repository down into your home directory in the .tfn folder. So I'll just do that. And then because I'm using w, uh, Windows subsystem for Linux, we'll use this command here, which then adds that tfn bin directory into our bash rc file so that when we open a terminal again we're still going to be able to execute terraform and the tfn uh, binary as well so let me just copy that and we'll paste that in as well and then i'll source dot bash rc just so that tfn binary uh, bin directory added to our path uh, before I continue, just going to remove 
the old Terraform version. Whoops. Okay, so to install Terraform with tfenv, we just do tfenv, install, and then a version number. So in this case, because we're just installing the latest version, we can just type latest, and it will go ahead and install that. And then we just do tfenv use latest to tell it to use that particular version. So now if we do Terraform dash dash version, we have version 1.3.6 installed. Okay, so you might come across a project that used version 0.12. So what we can do is we can type tfenv list remote to give us all the different versions that we can actually install with tfenv, find the version that we're interested in, which in this case is 0.12, and do tfenv install and then the version number and then tfenv use the version number so terraform dash dash version now shows terraform not point twelve dot thirty one we can also include a dot terraform version file which will instruct tfenv to use a particular version when we change into the directory. So for instance, let's create a directory called version 1.3.6 and let's create a directory called version 0.12.30 for instance. Inside version 1.3.6, oops. I'm going to create a folder, uh, a file called terraform dash version. And then just type the version number 1.3.6 and close. Uh, similarly, in 0 0.12.30, I'm going to create a dot terraform dash version and put 0.12.30 in. Okay. So if I change to directory 1.3.6 and then do terraform dash dash version, you'll see that I'm using version 1.3.6. Spot on. If I come out of that and go into version 0.12.30 and do terraform dash dash version, well, we didn't have that version installed. So what it's done is it's installed it for us, switched to that version, and now when we do terraform dash dash version, as you'd expect, we're running 0.12.30. So that concludes this video. If you have any feedback, let me know in the comments. If you want to see more terraform videos, please subscribe. But that's it for now. See you in the next video.